Horace. Horace. model who painted this guys hey hey guys look what I did what the hell happened to you I did it I finally painted a model you definitely did bro you definitely painted that yeah you should um you should go show Justin yeah, yeah. yeah he's okay, over just there leave the office and just go show him yeah I should yeah, yeah. all right here we go what the hell was that? I think he needs a haircut. Yeah, true. Yeah. Justin, Justin, look at this. Justin, look at this model. I love it. This is terrible. What, who painted this? I did. Yo, bro, this is bad. This is beginner stuff. I'm gonna shoot, like, Put this down, I'm gonna show you how to actually paint red. Part of the interruption, um, I'm sure Anthony, who just had a stroke, he's doing fine. Welcome to Northern Nights Painting, I'm Justin. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to paint red up to a parade level. Um, Anthony did put his heart and soul into painting the red marine. It didn't turn out as well as he thought. Today I'm gonna to show you my techniques and a lot more advanced um, techniques to paint a nice red armor that will even make Sanguinius proud. First we're gonna do Mephiston Red as a base coat. Just apply the base coat on there, cover all the areas. Afterwards, we're gonna do a, a special technique where I take Basilicum Gray from Games Workshop's contrast line. We're gonna do panel lining and filling the recesses manually with a very fine brush. This will allow you to have a much cleaner darkened areas and shades than what you would do with non-oil. And it will save, it'll take a little bit more time, but you're gonna get much better results, I guarantee it. Once that's done, we're gonna do layering and a little bit of wet blending using Evil Sun Scarlet. This is to allow for a good transition between the two colors and to make it look more natural with light. Um, next step, we move on to the edge highlighting. We're gonna do an initial edge highlight, which is gonna be a little bit thicker, but not too thick, of AK Interactive Medium Orange. This will, just on all the edges of the model that will catch light, you don't wanna do it everywhere, otherwise you're gonna spend even more time. And then finally, I'm gonna use AK Interactive's light orange only for the very fine areas like the edges and where the light will actually hit on a very fine layer just to like make it pop out more. So that's all we gotta do, let's get to painting. So the first step, Justin takes contrast basilicum gray and goes into those deep recesses. Base coating the marine with Mephiston red first where some people would put an entire wash over the armor and then build it back up with some layers of red. Justin's going in with that basilicum gray and just spot highlighting or rather spot washing those deep recesses, making that red pop out. As you see, he goes over the panel lining inside the shoulder pads and all those deep recesses inside the Marine's armor. Once we have all that panel lining done, Justin goes to layer it with Evil Sun Scarlet. This is just going to brighten up those reds and leave the deeper parts a little darker. Be very selective where you're going to build up these layers. You don't want all the armor to look very bright. You want to build it up. You want to have those darker recesses of red and building up to those highlights where the light would hit it more. Once you build up those layers, the next step Justin does is use AK Interactive Medium Orange and he's going to start line highlighting this armor, really making it pop. Again, if it gets too bright and you want to kind of go backwards, just bring back that Evil Sun Scarlet and tone it down a bit. And like we covered in the last video doing the black armor, when you highlight these models, you want to focus on spots that the light would hit the most. But not only that, you want to focus on spots that people actually 
attract their eye to. You want to highlight the face, the shoulder pads, the arms, the big panel lines on the legs, the backpack. These are parts where the model just pops. And as mentioned before, if you do go a little too bright, Justin taking out that Evil Sun Scarlet and just fixing up some panel lines here, making it blend together a little better and not making it so bright in certain areas. And as you see, he's really trying to have a direction where the light is coming from, where the left shoulder pad, the center plate of the armor, as well as the right knee being the brightest and having that direction coming from top to bottom really helps sell the effect he's going for here. Another thing you can do when going back steps and using Evil Sun Scarlet or Mephiston Red, depending how bright you want to go with it, you can also clean up some of those edge panelings that we did early with the deep recesses. If your uh, wash or if you use a contrast spills a little bit onto the flat parts of the armor, you can go back and fix it. And now for the extreme edge highlight, Justin uses light orange to just pick out those really high parts of the armor and being very selective on these corners just picking out the bottom part of the shoulder pad and the chest plate right here and just helps make that model pop that little bit more As you see right here, he's only picking out the absolute corners of that side plate there, selling that effect. Once again, thanks for joining us on this quick tutorial on how to paint red power armor. We are Northern Knights Gaming. If you like these kind of videos, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.